This is Twit. From our friends at Cloudflare. Uh, the site is, <laughs> I love this, 1.1.1.1. And yes, you put it, you put HTTP colon slash HTTPS colon slash slash 1.1.1.1, which means they got the top level domain one. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's New, right. They uh -huh. could do other dot one stuff, couldn't they? Yeah. So it, yeah. So they so it's have not an IP address. When you're entering that, that's the actual TLD. Yes. Right. Right. Wait. Wow. Uh, or is it? Uh, wait. It's HTTPS. Wait a Let me ping it. Let me ping it. Yeah, but that's well. I don't know. That's an interesting it's question. It's HTTPS. So they're not gonna get a security certificate unless the uh, unless they've got a cert for that. So, that's a really good question. I didn't even think to look at the who issued the certificate for that when, when I brought it up. Let's it's see. A, it uh, is at 1.1.1.1, one dot one dot one dot one, but that we knew that. Uh, let's see. That's an interesting question. I guess I could do a who is. Right? Ah, uh, Digicert gave them a certificate. For the top level domain or for the IP address? Uh, you you can't get a certificate for an IP address. So the web's uh, let's see let's see view save password blah 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 view certificate. Uh, okay, well oh, whoops. No, they no. went through AP it's, Nick. Though this is the Asia Pacific Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's uh, the the common name is star dot cloudflare hyphen dns dot yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what they got their certificate for. Right. So they don't own dot one. Because yeah, okay. everybody might. By the way, Cloudflare is going to do a, a domain registrar, right, for their customers. Yes, in fact, we yeah. covered that a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. They they have opened it up to all of their customers, not just their enterprise customers. Right. Okay, so here's the cool thing: you go to uh, with iOS or Android, HTTPS colon slash slash one dot one dot one dot one. And it is now offering you an app, either for iOS or Android. Um, I tried it. And you download the app. It asks, and for, I, I use the iOS. You d download it. It asks you, it explains it's going to create a VPN profile. There's not a VPN connection, a VPN profile. Oh, clever. Yes. That's the way it makes it easy for them to change your DNS settings. And Apple approved this, obviously. Yes. And it then establishes DNS over HTTPS, Leo. It's not just oh. changing your DNS. It is encrypting and, and, and privatizing all of your device, your iOS or your Android mobile devices wow. DNS queries, and you have the, the, there's a, in, in the options screen, the default is DNS over HTTPS. You can, if you want, switch it to over TLS. Both are emerging standards now, and there's there's other uh, options and features, and so it changes your device to 1.1.1.1. And 1.0.0.1, which is their their backup DNS, and essentially it establishes an HTTPS tunnel through which all DNS goes, and it logs it. You can look at the log, and what shocked me was how I mean, like the moment I set this up, I went to to look at the log, and it was like there was already fifty. DNS queries from all kinds of crap in, in my phone. You that had, might want to note that other VPN apps will not work when you're using their VPN profile. Right. So it will eliminate the use of VPN for you. Right. Yeah. But that's you know, right. That, anyway, I was I was is, very great. impressed. It's very cool. So for so uh, so takeaway is anyone who is oh, self conscious. There's just a switch to turn it off if you wanted to. Yeah. So that's good. So if you wanted to use a VPN, you wouldn't need it anyway. You could do that. And then if you want it, you could turn Correct. it Correct. Yeah. Correct. And somewhere, see if you can find the, the log. I'm not sure where that log was. Um, 
Uh, it's got a nice little icon that I liked, and I'm yeah. Here's the log. It's under the menu. Ah, good. Already, I have a, quite a few things in here. That's it. it's, it's, sho it's how does that possible? It's shocking how much DNS a, a device is making. Most of it's to Apple or Apple related sites like uh, Akamai, but still, wow. Uh, yeah, that's fascinating. Holy cow! Um, nice. This is great. So I wasn't gonna. I was tempted to make this my pick of the week for iOS and today and Mac break, but I wanted to hear from you first. So thumbs up, right? A thumbs up. Now, it, you know, on their page, they say privacy first guaranteed. They say we will just to remind our listeners about 1.1.1.1 through Cloudflare, uh, which of course any of us could set our PCs to. We will never sell your data or use it to target ads, period. We will never log your IP address the way other companies identify you, they say. And we're not just saying that. We've retained KPMG to audit our systems annually to ensure that we're doing what we say. And frankly, they say, we don't want to know what you do on the Internet. It's none of our business. And we've taken the technical steps to ensure we can't. Now, what I take a little issue with is they said faster than anything else, 28% faster, in fact. They said we've built 1.1.1.1 to be the fastest, the Internet's fastest DNS directory. Don't take our word for it. The independent DNS monitor, DNS Perf, ranks 1.1.1.1, the fastest DNS service in the world. Since nearly everything you do on the Internet starts with a DNS request, and obviously many things you don't do <laughs> starts with a DNS right. request, right. choosing the fastest DNS directory across all your devices will accelerate almost everything you do online. Now, the reason I take a little issue with that is that I, I happen to also be the author of the Internet's sort of standard benchmark for DNS. And when this was announced... Um, I, it may have been because it was immediately at announcement. There were many of our listeners who reported that they they had faster DNS than 1.1.1.1. One dot one dot one dot one. Right. But that was because there were still they were. I think it's because Cloudflare was still rolling out the endpoints. That is what determines the DNS speed. Once you've got a fast server is its proximity to you. So if you, d and that's what we are finding was that people were reporting that nice as this sounded to have all the privacy benefits and all, um, if there wasn't an, an, a node near them, then their traffic still had to go a long way in both directions and that slowed it down. It's also so, HTTPS, would that be slower too? Not once the not once the the connection is established, what this does is it brings up a static connection. Uh, so it, so it does the hand the the TLS negotiation only once at the beginning. Brings, yes, yeah, yeah. and then it maintains a per, a persistent connection so that it's just little quick little packets zipping back and forth in order to get the work done. So what I would su suggest is that maybe it's time to revisit if you put in DNS benchmark. To, to to Google uh, once again, uh, GRC is the only thing that comes up because we pretty much own that that side of the world. Uh, you know, I solved that problem correctly once, um, and and it's worth taking a look at again because you may find, as our listeners may have at at announcement time, that uh you know yeah we'd like to use it, but you know my own ISP's DNS server that's like next door to me is is still fastest um on the other hand your isp may very well be selling you the the you know a lot of information about you because they'd like to make money and there are companies that the folks like uh uh the uh you know pi privacy international are uh want are going after that would like to not have people able to do that so Anyway, Leo, yes, I, I think this is 100% win for iOS and Android mobile devices for anyone who's interested in uh, in the, first of all, speed, 
And and I absolutely we know the Cloudflare guys. There's no question oh, yeah. that they Trust are honoring them. their absolutely. their commitments yeah. about privacy, none whatsoever. So I should point out, uh, it doesn't do this on the iPhone, but on the iPad, it does show that you it has a little VPN designation. This must be something ah, new they're doing on the that. iPad, but yeah. you're not really on a VPN. Right, 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 right. So I see that's it too. another yes, thing. I, to keep I, in mind. I hadn't noticed it. Yeah. Uh, actually, I I like that as proactive acknowledgement. Yes. That I that I've got my DNS redirected. Yeah. But Ooh, don't. What fool oh, 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 Leo. Uh, uh, go to GRC spoofability test. I was going to mention in the miscellany that it's back online, and it didn't occur to me that because and I'll explain when I get there, but. Uh, it just put DNS spoofability into the Google. <laughs> yeah, the Google always knows. Yeah, uh, okay. DNS. Okay, and so if I run this with this on, I've got Cloudflare on. So if I just should initiate standard DNS spoofability, searching for DNS name servers used by your systems. Uh, this takes a little time, of course, because it's got to do some round tripping here. Oh, it's doing it's well. It's it's doing hundreds. Of queries, yep, I'm doing it now Two too. Two servers found, 456 queries received. I'm doing this on the iPad, which is an interesting. As I am right yeah. right now, I'm holding yeah. my iPad also. Uh, I found I had two servers found, 409 queries received. So if, if what happens is if it, if it finds no additional servers, then it'll do three more lines. Okay. Where it because it's continuing to look for any. Oh, I found now. I've got four, four servers found. Is and that good or bad? Forty-six. Well, it uh, it's why I designed the test this way. It's it's it's, it's kind of thoroughly bad. looking. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the, on the fourth, on the third line, it found zero additional ones. Right. And so it'll do that three times to make sure that no more reluctant servers come in. Right. But then it's going to show us what it knows about the servers that we're using, and they will not be your ISPs. They should be. Yep, and, I, and fourth line through now. So to zero be clear, additional. your traffic is not encrypted through a VPN when you're using this. What's encrypted through a VPN is merely that DNS query, and your traffic is traveling normally over the pro, over the public internet. Just so people don't get confused when they see that VPN icon, you're still on the public internet. Oops. Correct. Server stopped yes. responding. Safari didn't like did not like the delay. So I don't know. Oh, found two more servers yeah. on the sixth round of testing. Yeah, you're 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 you didn't time out. I did, unfortunately. Ah, no, I did time out. Could not yeah. open the page because the server yeah. stopped responding. That's, Interesting. Uh, that's Apple's uh, defaults. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we may not know. Cool. What would I expect to see? Uh, we don't know until we till we find out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll try to oh, run and it on I, the desktop here and see what happens. And I noticed that our listeners are doing this because I I see a large traffic All spike. Of a sudden, at, at, at GRC is sending lots of DNS uh, queries out. At first, they were just downloading your DNS benchmark, but now they're now they're doing this too. <laughs> now they're doing. You the really test don't itself. mind hitting those servers, do you? No. Yeah. No. So anyway, I I think this is all good. Uh, privacy while you're on the road. Very. I mean, it's so simple to set up that yeah. you can easily tell you know your your weekend you know tech guy listeners how to do this, and uh, it prevents anybody from. Uh, again, you're right. It's not preventing them from seeing where you go, but it's preventing them from seeing the the domain names that you're looking up and of course that's a big privacy leakage so yeah, uh yeah. it's worth patching it and uh if they are right it's faster and of course everybody wants their stuff to be faster yeah 